What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross, I like games, and today, and oh my word, have we got a very, very large tournament update for you. A lot of stuff has gone and been revealed and announced and shown off, and you know what? I'm nice, so I'm going to show you all of it. Plus, I'm obsessed with the One Piece CCG, so I'm going to show you all of it. And let's start off with the upcoming Treasure Cups. The upcoming Treasure Cups are starting to look very, very, very nice indeed. Speaking of things that are very nice indeed, on my whatnot this evening, 7pm UK time, use Google to figure out what it is in your time zone, we're going to be doing a double box break of OP05. We've done a couple already, it's been awesome, make sure you use my invite code, whatnot.com slash invite slash the wassy, get your £10 credit, come grab some packs, job's going to be a good un. 7pm UK time, tonight, come join me, it'll be fun. So, what can we talk about? You know what we can talk about? We can talk about the fact that they've got new prizes. A bunch of new prizes. For instance, everybody participating gets a Hollow Don. It's your participation prize. It's a Hollow Don. Yay! If you make it to top 128, you also get yourself some Emperor Sleeves, which we like. And you get yourself an Event Pack Volume 3. Now, I can't remember if we specifically talked about this. I think we have... In fact, I'm pretty sure we have. But just to confirm, we got the reprint of Monet from OP05. We've got ourselves the Trafalgar Law, which is an alternate art of the one from Star Deck 3, the one cost blocker. We've got the Roanoa Zoro that started life as a magazine promo over in Japan. And we've got the Yamato with Oda artwork that started life as a magazine promo in Japan. I do think we mentioned them before, but it doesn't hurt. Just giving them a quick shout out here. But what's new and exciting? Well, you know what's new and exciting? Prize cards, Kaido, Charlotte Linlin, and Yamato. And these are being given out for various placings. So top 64 gets you the Yamato, top 16 gets you the Charlotte Linlin, and top 8 gets you the Kaido. Now Big Mum and Kaido I know we've seen before, I don't remember seeing this Yamato before. And what is really weird and interesting about this, what is very different about this, it's not new artwork. The Kaido's new artwork, the Big Mum is new artwork. This is not new artwork. This is the alternate art from OP01. The alternate art, the secret rare from OP01. Like literally exactly that. No mucking about, no differences. I mean, obviously they've changed the border and all of that. But like in terms of the literal artwork, it is literally the same art. It's not even re been resized or resumed. Like I'm sitting here with the cards superimposed on each other, flicking them back and forth, and they are exactly the same artwork, just with a different border. Which, for me, makes it less exciting, honestly. I don't like this as much, because they seem less special. Like, this is my least favourite of the cards so far, because, well, it's not new artwork. You know what is new? The second place playmat, and I want this... I want this really badly. I've told you many times before that I like Smoker and Toshiki. They are two of my favourite characters in One Piece. I adore them. And now they've gone and given a playmat with them featured. And the downside is that um, I, I can only have this if I come second in a treasure cup. And the problem is I don't get to many treasure cups. And when I do get to bigger events like that, I generally tend to be casting. So I will probably never own this playmat. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to be out of my price range. But even if I never own this playmat. And as mentioned. I will never own this playmat. I do appreciate the fact. That it is actually a really cool new playmat. That people are going to be able to get involved with. And collect. And then that's pretty nice. The smoker is actually the promo. The artwork. That was a pre-release promo. Which is rather nice. And the Toshigi artwork here is another piece of art which should sound familiar. It's one we've seen before. It's actually just the artwork from OP02. So, yes, I'm a little bit sad I'm never going to own this. Because it's a wonderful playmat and I love it. And if I did get it, it would be my favourite of the One Piece playmats. But rather than being sad that I will never own this, I'm just going to be happy that it exists. Because honestly, Smoker and Toshigi getting a playmat... That's extremely cool. 
But of course, there is a winner's play mat coming in here as well. And it does feature your Whitebeard Pirates. We've got Jozu, we've got Newgate, and we've got Marco. Not as nice, incidentally, as the second place play mat as far as I'm concerned. But I know some people will appreciate it, and that's pretty cool. Oh, and there is actually one prize for the Treasure Cup I've not told you about yet. Uncut sheet for top two. Yeah, top two gets an uncut sheet. Now, it's not the same as the one that was given out at the finals uh, at the beginning of the year. This is an OPO6 uncut sheet. Now, for me, you got the Akira Igawa Shanks, you got the alternate art Toshigi, you got the alternate art leader and character Perona, and of course, you've got the manga Zoro in the middle there. But it's not the same as the OPO5 uncut sheet. Like the OPO5 uncut sheet with the free manga rares, assigned Oda, Luffy, etc. Clearly, what people are more interested in. I don't think that is unfair to say. But I'm telling you right now, the fact that there's a second uncut sheet going around, that is pretty gosh darned awesome. But it's not just treasure cups we need to talk about today, it is regionals, and we've got some of the new prizing from regionals, just a quick reminder that the regionals prizing is identical, whether it's online or offline, but they've got a new regionals participation pack, which incidentally is being given out, you get two just for participating, because you know, it's a participation pack, but then there is a finalist and a champion card set as well, just with different stamps. And these cards are going to look a little bit familiar to some of you, because if I show you all three versions of the Gear 5 Luffy right now, the regular, the finalist, and the champion, some of you are going to immediately look at this and go, hang on a second, we've seen this before, and yes, you have. These are the 7-Eleven promos that I was lucky enough to actually pick up in Japan. These were, you basically went to 7-Eleven in Japan, you bought two bits of fried chicken. I think some other things are in the promotion, but as far as I'm concerned, you bought two bits of fried chicken. And then you got yourself this, which is kind of awesome. We got one of them, but you got to choose. So it wasn't one that you got at random. It was actually a case of they had a little thing behind there and you'd actually get to choose which of the ones you wanted. So I went and bought four bits of fried chicken. And got all four of them. And then my bag smelled like delicious convenience store fried chicken for pretty much the rest of my Japan trip. And I was not upset. So we got ourselves a Gear 5 Luffy that I'm showing you all three versions of. It is a vanilla card. It is actually a reprint of Promo 41. And then the other three, we've got Trafalgar Law, Monkey to Luffy, and Eustace Captain Kid. And they are reprints. Luffy is the first ever promo. That's the one with Don X2, the game's rush. Kid is the same promo pack, Don X2, and it gains double attack. And then Trafalgar Law is from Starter Deck 3. It's the one cost blocker. These are lovely promos. I got all of them in Japan. I was delighted that I picked up all of them in Japan. There was something beautiful about being there when the promotion started and being able to just walk into 7 Eleven, buy a bunch of fried chicken, and then get some free One Piece cards. Yeah. Although. I, I got a bit nervous and didn't use my, my limited Japanese. And I could easily have said, hey, can I get eight bits of fried chicken to get four cards? But instead, I decided to not say that, even though I could, and try and communicate with the people that didn't speak English. When I did speak a bit of Japanese and not speak any Japanese, I got there in the end, but it was frankly a little bit embarrassing and I should have known better. As well as the participation pack with the finalist and champion set, We've also got ourselves a new event pack, Event Pack Volume 4. And this one I'm pretty sure we've not talked about yet. And this is bootyful. I'm a big, big fan of this because all of these are cards I actually have because they all started life as magazine promos. So we've got ourselves a Trafalgar Law, which started life as a V-Jump promo. Uh, I believe it was May last year, actually. It was, it was a little while ago at this point. And this is the one whereby, four cost, 5,000 power. On play, you may rest your leader to KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of one or less. Notice how it is a Dress Rosa card. So the whole rest your leader thing here is we're actually going back to OPO4 at this stage because this is clearly designed 
to be played with Rebecca. This has clearly been designed as a Rebecca card, because of course you rest your leader, but Rebecca cannot attack, and therefore the whole Dressrosa thing makes perfect sense. But again, this card actually came out in Japan, like May last year, so this is why it kind of is an OPO4-ish card, despite being released for us almost a year later. We've got Sabo, which also started life as a V-Jump promo. This was in the October issue, although the October issue actually comes out in, like, September, as with all magazines. And now these are all exclusive promo cards, never foreseen, mechanically unique, etc. You'll notice it is a Treasure Cruise promo. It's got the Treasure Cruise artwork. Interestingly, the Japanese print of the card does have the Treasure Cruise logo on. Our print of the card does not which I find kind of interesting. But in Japan, it was specifically released as a card to coincide with Treasure Cruise. Over here, that's not the same thing. So even though it's the same card, it is missing the stamp that the Japanese version of the card had. And we got free cost, 4,000 power, Don X1. If you have four or fewer cards in hand, this character gains 2,000 power. We've got the Jinbei, and stop me if this is starting to get repetitive, the started life as a V-Jump promo. Yeah, apparently V-Jump is really good for us. I buy a lot of issues of V-Jump because, well, lots of them have One Piece promos. But even if they don't, they've often got promos of other card games that I play. I'm a big fan of Japanese magazines that come with promos. And it does let me practice my Japanese. And this one actually is interesting. Because this magazine sold out really quickly. And this Jinbei ended up on the secondary market. Selling for more than the magazine. Players in Japan liked this one. 4 cost, 5,000 power, counter plus 2,000. And on player you rest up to one of your opponent's characters of a cost of one or less. Counter plus 2,000 and resting on play people liked. And then we've got the Kozuke Mamanosuke, which you've guessed it started life as a Psycho Jump promo. Yeah, different magazine this one. All the others are V Jump. This is Psycho Jump. Uh, this is a generic vanilla card. It's six cost, 8,000 power, counter plus 1,000. I love the artwork on this one, but it, it's not the most exciting of them. I think that's fair to say. So they're coming, obviously, event pack volume four, one card per pack, usual deal. And although there's no cards to talk about that we haven't already talked about, we do need to talk about the store regional championships. They are starting up, they are running through the entirety of July, and basically the entire point is they are like regionals that are smaller and can be done in your store, which is very cool. Now, for participating, you get booster packs. Top 16 gets you an event pack volume 4, the one I've just shown you. Top 8 gets you the Luffy sleeves. Fourth place gets you an invite to North American finals. Second place gets you an offline regional finalist card set, i.e. the, the four I just showed you a minute ago, the ones that were a 7-Eleven promos. But the, you don't, the participation pack isn't for the store regionals. And the winner set isn't for store regionals. The only one the store regionals are getting are the finalist set for top two. Or for second place, it says here, but I'm assuming top two. And then champion gets you the Charlotte Katakuri, which I actually showed you the other day in Chinese. I'm showing you the Japanese one on the screen right now. Yay, etc. But this is one that I have previously shown you. So it's not the same as a regular regional. The prizes are not identical. There very much are differences between them. But these are very, very nice prizes. And frankly, I mean, look, would you rather not have these? Would you rather these didn't exist? Seems weird to me, frankly. Seems weird to me. So there we go. That's what you need to know. And now it's over to you guys. Tell me which of these things you're excited about. Tell me which of these tournaments you're going to be rocking over to. Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about One Piece and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? 
Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.